guys, today is Thursday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. I had a quick brain freeze there. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> but I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Like I said, it's been a while since I filmed on a Thursday. You will actually see this video on this coming Sunday, but welcome to a rainy day here in Atlanta. I will say though, even though it's rainy, it's a pretty rainy day. You know, sometimes you can get those rainy days where it's just like the sun is like, I'm not tipping in today. You guys are gonna get this rain and clouds. But today is actually a pretty rainy day here in Atlanta. So I hope you are enjoying some really pretty spring weather wherever you are. Uh, even though it's rainy, it's not cold. So I can kind of do with the rain when it's not cold outside. But before we get into today's video, um, I've enjoyed, like I've said in the last video, just kind of bringing you guys up to speed on things. So I want to send a huge thank you out to Shana. In the last video, I mentioned that, um, and the video before that, I think I mentioned that we are in the process of preparing uh, Chase's room, his little suite, his little mini apartment for, um, his move-in date and I asked you guys to drop down leave a comment if you knew where I could find some pillows that had like two textures I think I said like leather and like this khaki linen color and Shayna has been sending me emails and I really appreciate it because I took some of her suggestions and I'll share those uh, pillows with you once they come in. I've already ordered them. Thank you, Shana. <laughs> but she, up until last night, today's Thursday, Wednesday night, Shana was sending me um, just places where I could go and find those pillows for Chase's dorm room. So really appreciate it. Um, I know when I say drop down, leave a comment, some of you are like, well, she really doesn't mean it. She's not taking our advice. I really am uh, taking you guys' advice on a lot of the stuff because I don't know everything. So I want to send a huge thank you out to Shana. I also want to send a huge thank you out to, and I had to grab my phone because when you get my age, you got to write stuff down, take a picture of it because you won't remember it. Uh, Carolyn. Carolyn also chimed in on that video and she said, make sure you clean first. Absolutely. That's gonna be a must do. And she said also get him a lock box. That was a really important one too. I didn't think about that. I knew I was gonna to talk to him about, you know, not leaving his, um, you know, important things out and about in his room, but a lock box would absolutely be great to make sure he locks away things like his social security card, birth certificate. I don't even know if we're gonna let him take his birth certificate or social security card for that matter, but you know, some of his valuables, you, it's a good idea. So thank you so much, Carolyn. I wanted to really briefly speak on the Derek Jackson, just, Eric is gonna pop in here in a little bit and um, chime in on it during the Pink Packet shout outs. Oh, the store is closed, the store is closed, the store is closed. We are restocking right now, but in this video you will see the last batch of Pink Packet shout outs. Again, thank you guys so much for showing uh, the store so much love as you guys always do. And so we periodically have to kind of shut down and restock. Who was actually watching Derek Jackson? Who was actually watching him? I had never heard of this dude. So all he's just floating around the interwebs right now. And speaking of internet, for those of you who two videos ago, two videos ago, I shared some of my things you need to purchase um, no, not things you need to purchase, some little DIYs that you could do for spring for outside. And I mentioned that you needed Gorilla Glue for one of the little projects that I um, was working on. And several of you felt, I made a little joke, you thought that I was serious about using Gorilla Glue in your hair. And if you're one of the individuals who believed that, <laughs> I felt you should use Gorilla Glue in your hair. I have some ocean front property for you on Mars. Okay, you can get it at a good price. But anyway, Derek Jackson, y'all, 
Who's watching him? I'm not even really saying anything. Oh my gosh. He's a terrible person. I'm gonna let Eric get into that. But anyway, today's video, what are we talking about in today's video? Today, guys, we are talking about the absolute must-haves as we venture over into spring for our home. Spring is synonymous with spring cleaning, all right? Now, I have some unconventional as well as conventional items that you need to make sure your home, it, home is springtime ready. I am hyped, y'all. So let's go ahead and get to this video. All right, guys, and these are going to be in no particular order, but first on my list, because it is raining outside, I'll go ahead and start with this one, and it is a dehumidifier. I swear by the use, the benefits of dehumidifiers in the home. If you are new to the channel, hi, welcome. I have shared our dehumidifiers uh, here on the channel many, many times before. But again, if you are new, let me bring you up to speed. Let me tell you why you need a dehumidifier in your home as we prepare for the spring, all right? As we know, the spring, April showers, they bring Mayflowers, but they bring a lot of rain. And so with that, you need something to take some of that moisture out of the air inside your home. Yes, there is going to be moisture in the house, but you want to keep those levels under control. The job of the dehumidifier is to remove excess moisture from the air. If you do not believe that there is moisture in the air, I'm gonna insert some clips. You'll see me switching out or Eric possibly switching out the little bucket on our dehumidifier and emptying the water. That bucket fills up. We actually have a dehumidifier down here in the main area of the house. We have a dehumidifier downstairs in our basement. You guys know that we have a full gym down there. When you're working out in the gym, you know, you sweat and moisture is building up all of that moisture you know it starts to penetrate and hang out in the air you do not want that a lot of bugs really gravitate towards uh, you know moist conditions spiders they absolutely like moist conditions and our the little insect we love to hate with a passion roaches our pest control guy when he comes out he checks for of course roaches spiders and things like that but he also uh makes sure that we are aware of little areas in the house where where it may be a little bit too moist and those are just breeding grounds breeding areas for roaches we had a problem i want to say two or three years ago where our hard wood floors started to buckle ever so slightly wood and water you know they don't really mesh they don't really you know go together all that well so we were instructed by our uh floor guys that actually did have to come out and uh, repair the floors get yourselves or a dehumidifier molds mildew they all thrive on moisture so if you are getting ready for spring and you do not have a dehumidifier i would implore you to please get yourself a dehumidifier also if you are like us and you have a teenager who you know he or she likes to take a shower like it's going to be their last shower like they're not going to be able to take a shower anymore so they stay in there for 30 40 minutes we have gone in chase's bathroom and the ceiling would just be raining just moisture. We absolutely had to get a dehumidifier for his room. So if you, for his bathroom, so if you have a teenager like ours, you know, get yourself a dehumidifier because that water is gonna go somewhere. That moisture is gonna go and seep right into the walls of your home and then you're gonna have that odor. We've had people who have come over to our home um, back when we were having visitors and they would want to know how old our home was because it smelled like a new home when you let all of that water and moisture sit into the walls of your home and that into the air it just creates little you know not so favorable smells so dehumidifier absolutely the first thing on the list that you need to get if you're getting ready for spring up next <laughs> you need guys a vacuum cleaner yes you need a vacuum cleaner so i want to send a huge thank you out to my good friends over at hoover for sponsoring this portion of the video guys hoover sent over to me and my household this beauty 
right here. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> Guys, my friends over at Hoover sent over to me the One Power Blade Plus cordless yes cordless vacuum kit and when i say kit guys everything that you need for your vacuuming and dusting needs is in the box all right so you guys know here again spring is here that means we are out and about we are going to be in and out of our homes yesterday eric and chase took their bikes out the high traffic areas of our home guys they take a beating the poor mud room the poor mud room i tell you every time that garage door goes up i'm pretty sure the mud room is like oh no where yes i am giving giving feelings to an inanimate object yes i am well, where are they going and what are they going to bring uh, bring back you know we don't wear shoes in the house but that is where we stop in and take the shoes off if we're coming in through the mud room uh or the garage and so it's time you know we're going to be out and about uh chase the spring break is coming up we plan on doing a lot of hiking we're going to do kennesaw park and uh stone mountain park a lot of hiking so we're going to be bringing a lot of dirt and stuff into that particular um portion of the house so it is great to have not only the hoover vacuum but the fact that it's cordless and because the vacuum is cordless you of course need a battery all right with the push of a button, you have your battery ready to go. Easy to charge. Just plug it in and you are good to go until you are ready to use it once again. And you're able to get into the little cubbies with this little, I call this like the little ant eater attachment. Look, doesn't that look like an ant eater? You can really get into the nooks and crannies of the spaces in your home with this guy. And you see this guys, it is extremely lightweight, extremely lightweight. So if you have been working out as we are getting our bodies into shape for spring and summer, and you know, you're going hard with the weights and your arms on the arm, uh, arm and back days, you're kind of sore. No worries. You can push this Hoover back around, um, and not have any worries. It, I just love how it moves with you effortlessly. You know, it's one thing to have to clean up the house. I don't want to have to have my body take a beating, you know, while I'm cleaning also. So it is really great to have this and I am just so, 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 so thankful again to my friends over at Hoover for sending this guy over to me. Just absolutely perfect as we head over into spring. And again, guys, one hand absolutely lightweight it swivels like nobody's business all right you got those kids those pets who just love to drop crumbs all over the floor this is the guy for you also i love the fact too as we are heading into spring and we're doing all of our spring cleaning guys do not neglect your windows a lot of us have had our windows closed up for the better part of winter it's now time to open up those windows and let those spring breezes flow through let me know drop down leave a comment if you have bulbs spring bulbs planted in your yard mine have come up and they are gorgeous and i love uh, opening up the windows and letting those uh, just very beautiful fragrances kind of flow through but here again if you've had your windows closed all winter long if you look down in the window sill you know i hate to say it but you got a few people again inanimate objects a few people i.e insects they didn't make it they didn't make it uh they're not going over in the spring with us and so that their carcasses are hanging out there and the little anteater attachment on the cordless vac is perfect for getting in there and getting those guys out of the window i don't want to have the window open and then you know looking at you know dead spiders you know we got to get those out of there before we can really say that our house is spring ready so i will have a link for you guys uh to go and click on and check out again i want to thank them so much for sponsoring this particular portion of today's video up next you need some good carpet freshener nobody does carpet freshener like arm and hammer vacuums and carpet freshener are like peanut butter and jelly um What's another one? 
chocolate and peanut butter you just have to have it they go together please drop down leave a comment let me know if you use a brand of carpet freshener that's not arm and hammer i think they have the game on lock as far as carpet freshener go i love this particular one because it has oxy clean and it smells amazing if you have those pets it's raining raining here today who like to go outside and be disrespectful and roll around in the wetness of the grass and then come in here and roll on your carpet you need this guys it says it has dirt fighters and it has a vacuum booster so it helps to loosen up the dirt and get the job done quickly if we're gonna clean we don't want to be in here cleaning all day because we have other areas of the house to get ready for spring so don't forget your carpet freshener i'm not sure if you guys can hear the birds outside like i'm obviously in the house but i have the windows open i swear by having the windows open after it stops raining let me know drop down leave a comment if you love to open up your windows and just let that really fresh there's no air fresher than the after rain air i love it but anyway the birds in our yard are like they're here for it like singing 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 all day there's this one particular bird who work who wakes us up every morning and he is so just he disrespectful y'all and i know it's a he bird i know it's a male bird because no female bird would at 5 30 just start singing and it's just incessantly loud just loud like and i know it's him because it's the same song every morning yeah it's loud so if you hear birds in the the footage where i'm showing outside and it's real it's real we got birds <laughs> but anyway up next guys bacon soda okay again arm and hammer arm and hammer has a bacon soda game on lock all right, you need to be preparing to get your refrigerator guys ready for spring. That means taking everything out, everything from the, a lot of us too, we will clean the refrigerator, but we won't clean the freezer. I know, I know it's, it's tough. It's a lot of work. That stuff is in there and it's frozen, but we have to go through those items in the freezer, check those dates and get rid of the old food and insert a fresh box of Arm & Hammer baking soda or just baking soda in general. I know Kroger has its brand too, but baking soda really does a great job with deodorizing the refrigerator. And also if you just leave a box out, let's say if you've had seafood one day or you've made something that was really, really garlicky, sit a box of baking soda out or and this is just a bonus one i didn't mention this one vinegar just white vinegar run a water run a sink of of um water maybe half full and add some vinegar to it just really natural deodorizers and they don't cost much at all i think this box of baking soda was like 98 cents so i know you guys all have this on your spring must have cleaning get my house ready and pull together for spring list bacon soda now i know i mentioned that this video would contain both conventional and non-conventional just spring home essentials that you really need if you are trying to get your home ready for the upcoming spring and summer all right bear with me okay this next item you're gonna be like she's lost it tan you have lost it but guys if you do not have a paper shredder you're not in the game you're not in the game to get your home springtime ready guys you need a paper shredder now i don't know how you do things in your house but over here we have to pay taxes and so that means we have paperwork and paperwork and paperwork stacked up so that when it's time to file said taxes when it's time to complete all of the paperwork we're ready but what do you do with all of those old forms from the previous year you do not want to just take that and you know drop it outside in the trash can or you know you don't want to do that 
you want to make sure you are shredding your important documents. Please don't just put that stuff in the trash can. It's got your social on it and your kids' socials and things like that. You want to make sure that you are shredding those items. You don't have to worry about individuals, you know, rummaging through your trash and, you know, digging out your personal information. And then also, too, guys, let's go back to when I mentioned insects. Not only do insects love moisture, insects like a lot of paper and clutter as well. Our pest control guy said it's really good that we don't have a lot of paper, we don't keep a lot of paper in our house, and we don't have a lot of cardboard. Roaches and little insects, they thrive and just breed in paper and cardboard and things like that. Now I'm not saying you go and take a cardboard box, let me clarify. I don't need you girls coming for me like you did with the Gorilla Glue. I'm not saying take cardboard boxes and put them in the paper shredder. No, I'm just saying paper in general is not, it's not good to have a whole lot of paper in your home because they breed things, okay? Or they breed things or things like to breed in. I don't know, but <laughs> get you a paper shredder, guys. Don't just have all that paper laying around. You should not in 2021 have documents from, you know, 1954 in your house that you don't need. Go through all of that stuff and make sure you are starting your new spring season going into the summer with, you know, a clutter-free home. When it comes to cleaning your home, when you're really trying to rid it of just back Bacteria and just gross stuff. Nobody, nobody does it like like Clorox. I'm sorry. You need some bleach. You, especially in these days and times we're living in. You need uh, living in. You really need some bleach to get in there and um, just remove those germs. The the things that smell good that we spray and clean with. They're great. I have some that I'm gonna show y'all. But when it comes to certain rooms in the house, i.e. the bathroom. You need some Clorox, okay? Insert this cute little guy right here. Guys, this is brand new. Don't worry about me having it all up in my personal space. This one is new. But this is the Clorox toilet wine, guys. No more. No longer, guys, should we be using the everyday toilet brush. How do you clean the toilet brush? You just clean your toilet guess what that toilet brush now needs to be clean I don't want to do that I don't want to have to clean the toilet brush and ensure that I got everything off the toilet brush that needed to be removed from said toilet brush and then it has to hang out in my bathroom no I love this toilet wand because it comes with and this this one right here is this is the advanced one okay they do have the ones that just come with the wand this one is the advanced, this is the bougie version. It has an area there, guys, where you can put all of these little pods, okay? This thing is so hands-free. Again, this is a new one, so I feel comfortable, you know, touching it. But it comes with these little guys right here. This is how they look, for those of you who are not familiar. All right, that little piece right there hooks on to the bottom of the wand. Let me demonstrate for you please. One moment. So here's the wand. This clips into here, snaps on like that. You clean, 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 clean your toilet. And then with this button here, when you're finished, push the button and it just falls off. Ideally, you push the button and it just falls right off into the trash can. Just hands free, hands free. You don't have to worry about germs or anything like that. Get rid of that old traditional toilet bowl cleaner. Get rid of that thing. And then it's all, it's sitting over there wet. You know, if you use that, what do you do? You dry it off? Or do you sit it somewhere and just let the juices just run all over your floor, your bathroom floor? I ain't, no. You clean your toilet with that toilet wand, that, drop, that thing drops right off into the trash can. Done. Some of you 
you know, if you're watching and uh, you're a YouTuber, what do you do in between takes, clips? What do you do? I don't know, I'll start singing and <laughs> you just, cause it, this is a, you, sometimes you lose focus and like right now there are like five carpenter bees hanging out on my back porch. Like why? Out here trying to drill holes into the back porch, but it's like a forest. You guys have seen my backyard. It's like a forest in the backyard, all these trees, but you'd rather dig holes into the deck. Why? Make it make sense. But yeah, drop down, leave a comment, let me know. What do you do in between takes when you're filming? It's hilarious, I should do a bloopers thing. But anyway, up next, the next item you need to have in your home as you make ready for spring is a house plant. Can y'all see, where's my, okay, right here I have a snake plant. That's that guy right there. There he is over into the dining room. I have one, two, three snake plants sit over there. I have a snake plant in the living room. I have a snake plant over here in the family room. I got countless snake plants upstairs. And uh, I want to share with you the newest member of the snake plant family. God, you cannot kill a snake plant. You can't. Try as you might, it, you just cannot do it. They are virtually indestructible. You can go for months and not water these plants. They will not die, okay? So I wanted to pick up another one. I have another space that I want to place a snake plant. And the other thing, guys, they do not take up, um, no, they don't require a lot of sunlight. They don't require a lot of sunlight. Guys, I haven't eaten lunch today. It's around lunchtime. So you, leave a comment, drop down, let me know. How do you start to feel when you have not eaten? A few hours beyond lunchtime and um, I start fading fast, guys. So I'm gonna go on and get through, it, get through this video before um, I turn into, I don't know, a piece of lint and fly away. But yeah. Get a plant. You don't necessarily have to get a snake plant. Those are just the plants that I am partial to because I have not been able to, you know, destroy them. Um, but plants, just like the dehumidifier, they really help to keep the air clean. There's just something about having a plant in your home. They just really get all of that, you know, gun those gunky smells. They get those smells out of the house. So whether it be a snake plant, you know, a fern, whatever you choose to do, do yourself a favor, go to your local nursery. Oh my gosh, Home Depot right now, their nursery cannot be beat. I wanna take just one of everything for the house and then like five of everything for outside. They are just really, really doing it right now with their, you know, plants. So get you a plant. I am over here dying laughing to myself. This video today is comical to me. Ah, let's see. All right, so I talked about um, cleaning with the Clorox, the, the bleach wands. Well, that's great. You absolutely want to have the bleach, but guys, now we also got to have our Fabuloso, okay? <sighs> if you have not smelled the Lavender Fabuloso, run, run to thine Dollar Tree. This one we picked up at, this was Home Depot or Kroger. This size. Dollar Tree's not going to sell this size, or at least mine did, okay? But uh, you want to get you so, get yourself? No, I didn't. We picked this up at Aldi. This one is from Aldi, and it was like two eighty nine. That's a lot of fabulous. So for two dollars and eighty nine cents, okay. The lavender is my scent. I am partial to this purple jug, okay. Uh, the Dollar Tree, they're not going to sell this size for a dollar. That would be nice. But this one was at Aldi. You can also get it at Kroger, Walmart. You can get this anywhere. All right, but. Fabuloso, oh gosh. There's just something about this scent. After I have cleaned with bleach, let's say I've cleaned out my sinks with bleach, you know, I've cleaned out my garbage disposal with a little bleach and water, I gotta go in and follow up with some Fabuloso. It just sets the mood. It's, it's not right in this house if I don't do that, okay? So Fabuloso is an absolute must if you do not um, have the lavender for spring and get you some lavender fabulous. So you'll thank me. All right. And then everybody's favorite method. 
It's made it only sold at Target. You can also get this at uh, on Amazon. I absolutely know that. I'll leave, have the links for this below. Um, but I always see it very prevalently placed inside of Target. Let me know if it's is sold anywhere else. Oh, look, it's a great accessory with my dress today. This is the grapefruit, pink grapefruit scent. This is a new purchase. Well, it's not a, it's a new, this is a re-up. All right, I've purchased this before. It's not, it's not heavy, it's not heavy. Um, I will say Fabuloso is the only thing that I've come across other than bleach that when you've used it, you know you used it, okay? You know you've been where you needed to have gone with your cleaning when you use that Lavender Fabuloso. And if we're cleaning, what would cleaning be without our gloves? Yes, we need our gloves. These Brillo gloves, just your basic run-of-the-mill gloves, those are okay, but why not get these? Do you guys see that? These are also from Brillo. And did I mention they're from the Dollar Tree? Yes, these are from the Dollar Tree. Look at that. I couldn't leave these. <laughs> Fancy gloves, oh my gosh. Let me just put these on for you guys. These right here are absolutely Instagram worthy. Yeah, if you're going to have to clean, why not look good doing it, right? I absolutely love these. I love these so much that I had to actually pick up two pairs, all right? Super, super cute for spring, super, super cute. I think that's it. That is it, guys. Those are, those are the things I think you just absolutely have to have in your arsenal for spring if you're trying to get your house spring ready, all right? I wanna thank you all for hanging in there with me today during this video. At times, I think it was a bit chatty. It was a bit off topic, <laughs> but I have the gift of gab. Wanna thank you all who have shopped with me uh, at the store. And again, we are closed until April 4th because we are restocking. Did my fern just fall over? Thank you guys so very much. Really do appreciate the love. Cannot thank you guys enough for all of the support. Eric is about to stop in and give you his thoughts on the Derek Jackson debacle. He also has a pink bag of shout outs. So stay tuned for that. Really do appreciate it guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys. What up YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. I feel blessed because we have a very, very, very special pink pack of shout out. But before I get into that, this pink package shout out is also going to be a little bit different because as I do this shout out and this shout out will probably come out on um, the 28th of March because the videos come out every Sunday, the store will still be on hiatus. So in other words, as you see this, the store is still hi on hiatus, as you guys probably know from our last video. And we do this periodically. We're on hiatus until April 4th. We're doing some restocking of inventory coming out with some exciting stuff for you know spring summer line so we got to restock because we always want to make sure we, we we always want to make sure we have our stuff in stock so we can ship out to you quickly so we're just restocking so again when you're watching this video we'll still have about another week left of hiatus we'll come back on april 4th so i just wanted to put that out as a quick public service announcement more importantly though very special pink package shout out there's only one but this one pink package shout out is like doing one for 20 people it is for Tammy H. Tammy H's box is back there. I don't have, there are pink packages in the box um, because she had so many, they're actually inside of that box. Tammy, this is her second order, is from Indianapolis, um, Indiana. And Tammy ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 items. 13 items in one order, this is on her second order. Thank you, thank you so much, Tammy H out of Indianapolis. I always say we must have done, done something right the first time. If you come back for a second order, Tammy, you must have loved that first order because on this second order, you ordered Turban Girl earrings, a Lux hoodie, a Lux hoodie, a Lux hoodie, black hoodie, Faith Over Fear t-shirt, God is Love t-shirt, Lux, Lux t-shirt, Move in Silence t-shirt, Lux t-shirt, Lux t-shirt, um, Lux t-shirt, Lux t-shirt. 
I have no words. I'm gonna just leave it. At, I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys know how we feel about you guys, all of you guys. Tammy, thank you, thank you so much for blessing us with that order. We feel blessed to be able to serve you and provide you, you know, as a black owned business with, you know, something that looks like you're gonna enjoy. So I will see you. And there will be more pink packet shout outs, even though the store is on hiatus. We had a bunch of orders in at the end of last week. So I'll see you guys on the next pink packet shout out. What up, YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. Remember, when I give you that that opening line, take a moment and think about your blessings, especially since these videos come out on Sunday. That was a new thing we said we would do when I say blessed, not stressed. Why are you feeling blessed? Um, speaking of blessings, we always talk about current events, or we typically do. I think the last Pink Packet shout out, I talked about Kurt Franklin and his son. One of the things I really wanted to emphasize in that whole situation, and I think I emphasized it a little bit on the last video, but I want to reemphasize it. I don't know if Kirk Franklin is wrong. I don't know if the son is, son is wrong. Um, I do know this. If they are having arguments to the point where they can't get on the phone without being civil, then they need to step away from each other. I would encourage all of you, and I've seen this discussed on social media and, and, and when people talk about mental health, don't be afraid to cut toxic people out of your life, right? Friends, family, sometimes it might be temporary, right? In the case of Kirk Franklin and his son, their father and son, you would like to see them come together, but temporarily they might need to take a break. Two, three, four, five, six months, right? Whatever it takes, maybe come back. I know with friends, sometimes you do have to let friends go. Um, and it might not even be, you know, a knockdown drag out argument. It might just be, we're not getting along. We don't see eye to eye. Before this goes sideways, let me take a break from the friendship. I think my wife and I, you know, we're very nice, laid back people, but you know, there's that, that, that cliche and it's true. As you get older, um, you tend to have less and less patience for, you know, for other people sometimes. So you do tend to be like, I know, I'm older. I know what I want out of people. I know what I want out of relationships. And so you're not as willing to put up with things as when you were younger. Um, and speaking of putting up with things, I want to talk about this whole, since we're talking about current events, Derek Jackson situation. Now, for those of you who don't know, and I'm not, I'm not an authority figure on any of these people I'm talking about, but I do know a little bit about Derek Jackson. I had seen a couple of his videos. Again, I'm not an expert, but I had seen a couple of his videos way back. Um, and he is like a relationship guru or self-style guru. Um, what he would do on his, and I think he had a YouTube channel, is give women advice on how the treatment they should expect from men. And I remember in the videos that I watched, and again, I've only seen like two or three of his videos. I agreed with, with what he was saying. There's another guy, and I had never heard of this person, but um, who emailed us? Somebody emailed us. Hold on just a second. Hold the line. Shanna N. Shout out to Shanna N. So Shanna N is the one who gave me the Kirk Franklin story. She also told us about, so it's Derek Jackson and Kevin Samuels. I had never heard of Kevin Samuels. When Shanna sent us the email, my wife and I looked him up. Apparently, he's the opposite of Derrick Jackson or the persona is the opposite. Derrick Jackson was all about, which I thought was a positive message. Women, respect yourselves. Don't put up with all this mess from men. Don't keep people in your life that aren't bringing value. Um, the one video that I watched of Kevin Samuels, he was like all high value men cheat. That was the title of the video, basically saying that. And this is the gist that I got from it. If a man has it going on, if he's a man of wealth, if he's attractive, whatever, um, he's going to cheat because he has so many options. Um, high value men cheat. And to that, I say, look at Martell Holt on Love and Marriage Huntsville. In our recent marriage series, and by the way, if you're going to watch people talk about marriage, why not watch the people that have been married for 20 years and haven't had infidelity 20 plus years? But in our most recent marriage videos, we've, we've held up Martell and Melody Holt of Love and Marriage Huntsville as an example of what not to do. And I think the reason that Martell felt like he could cheat is because he saw himself as a quote unquote high value man. Um, I take care of myself. I take care of my family. You know, I'm bringing in money. We are well known. I'm a high profile individual. So he just felt like I deserve whatever comes to me. I'm going to say this. And I think sometimes in life we tend to make issues. Sometimes we make them complicated and we do need to bring some complexity to it. But sometimes you have to break things down to the smallest denominator and resimplify it. Cheating is a moral issue. Period. Cheating is a moral issue. 
morals is an interesting topic. It's not against the law. It's morals of what you do when nobody is looking and you think you won't get caught. Every day as adults, you and I make hundreds of moral decisions, mostly unconsciously, but a lot of them consciously. None of us are 100% moral. I'm not 100% moral. You're not 100% moral. I think we try to be, but we all make moral decisions. You're either going to cheat or you're not based on your morality. Now, could you argue that a high value man has more opportunities to cheat and therefore has to have stronger morals? Absolutely. Is that now an excuse to go cheat? Absolutely not. If you're indeed a high value person, take man out of it. If you're a high value person, then your morals also have to adjust for that. Um, if you look at somebody like a Barack Obama, high value man, is he going to cheat on Michelle, right? No, because he knows what's at stake. And he also knows Michelle is not going to put up with it. Also in life, again, we talked about cutting toxic people out of your life. You know, it, and again, cliches, there's some truth in them. People will do and put up with, well, people will do what you allow them to do, right? People will take advantage of you if you let them, right? Even moral people will take advantage of you. We all have to have and set boundaries. I'm not saying that men, I think there's an argument. I think the argument that people really want to say, I think what people are trying to say is, look, biology wise, men want to cheat because it's the biology of the male versus the female, right? And how we as, you know, we have evolved and it kind of makes sense why you would think, well, men want to cheat more than women. But again, morals have to come into play. We're not animals. And yes, sometimes we have to have stronger morals than others. It's no different than if I opened the car door and found somebody's wallet and it was stuffed full of 500 bucks in cash. What do I do, right? It's just a moral issue. You can throw complexities at it. You can throw, you know, they're an NBA player, so they got all these temptations. Um, you know, the wife wasn't cooking or cleaning or from a woman's perspective, she cheated because he was working too much and was never at home. But you have to make a moral decision on when you're going to step or if you're going to step outside of the marriage. And that's all it is. That's all it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But anyway, I think that's the longest I've talked to you guys in a while about a topic. Um, and, you know, I think on our channel, right, we, we do marriage and relationship videos. We don't do a lot. I don't know that we'll ever turn into the full marriage and relationship channel. We just kind of do it when the mood strikes us. I would encourage you to watch us watch some of our videos and look, watch who you want to watch. I think it's good to get a variety of different perspectives. Watch Kevin Samuels if, if you want to watch Derek Jackson, watch us and then kind of make your own decision. But I just think there's not enough people in that space who actually live it right, who have lived it. Not. And look, even if you've been married five years, great. It's real when you get to the 10, 15, you know what I mean? That type of thing. That's when and you've gone through some stuff, you've gone through the fire together. So definitely look out for perspectives like that. Well, and you may have people, you know, personally, no, you reach out to people that, you know, personally that, hey, you've been married 10, 15 years. What do you, how do you and your wife handle this or how have you handled this? But anyway, let's get into the pink package shout outs. The first one is to Ebony W. Ebony W. Thank you so much, Ebony, out of Winston-Salem for your second order. And <laughs> serendipity, she ordered the My Spouse is Dope t-shirts. So Ebony, I know or I hope that you and your spouse <laughs> think each other are dope and that you enjoy these t-shirts in a healthy, healthy marriage. Blessings to you for ordering the My Spouse is Dope t-shirts, uh, t-shirt bundle, which is two shirts, one for the man that says, my wife is dope, one for the woman that says, my husband is dope, thank you so much, and also a luxe shirt. So congratulations on a happy marriage to Ebony W. out of Winston-Salem. Whitney B. Whitney B. First order. Welcome to the family. Whitney out of Cypress, Texas. You ordered a Lux t-shirt. Thank you so much, Whitney. Nikki A. Nikki A. out of Mansfield, Texas. So two Texas back to back. Now, I, I love Nikki's order. Nikki ordered a Lux bundle. She ordered the coffee with a splash of Lux bundle. So let me explain what that is because some of you guys may not be familiar. We have a lot of Lux shirts that are similarly themed. So they'll have like the same theme, but it'll just be like a different spin on it. So we started bundling a lot of these designs together. And you can actually save a couple of bucks on the bundle designs. So she ordered the coffee with a splash of Lux three shirt bundle. Thank you so much, Nikki A out of Mansfield, Texas. And last but certainly not least, big package here. 
five items. Wow. Thank you so much, Amy H. This says this is your second order. That sign, I think you've ordered more than that, Amy. But you're out of Owensboro, Kentucky. Nina Simone, Lux Hoodie, Faith, T-shirt, Collard Greens T-shirt. So, wow. So, Amy ordered the Collard Greens T-shirt. We had all these, like, food-themed T-shirts that we did around Thanksgiving and Christmas when, you know, everybody's eating. But, you know, I said to my wife when she made those, you know, I could see people getting that near Easter. A lot of people cook, you know, near Easter time. And just, you know, people that like to cook. So, um, Amy H., maybe you really like collard greens. Enjoy that. Um, and you ordered an, my, the Unfrumpy Mommy Code t-shirt. One of the original kind of old school th shirts. Thank you so much, Amy H., for ordering that. And yeah, let me know or let us know in the comments what you think about this whole Derek Jackson debacle. If you're familiar with it, your perspective on relationships and who you should follow and who you should watch. Oh, and let me say this. There is, I am a big fan of a godly relationships. I know a lot of times when we do these um, relationship videos, a lot of you will comment, hey, put God first in relationship. I certainly agree with that. I think there should be a spiritual component, whether you're Christian or Muslim or, you know, whatever the case may be, um, there should there should be faith in the relationship because you're going to need it. So shout out to all of you that have said that in the comments. Every time we do a relationship video, a lot of you will say, hey, I always put God first. Hopefully you're putting God first in your lives and I will see you guys on the next Pink Packet shout out. What up YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. I feel blessed because it is Pink Packet shout out time yet again. Um, I believe this Pink Packet shout out will be in the Sunday, the 28th video, which means or the video that comes out Sunday, March 28th, which means that we'll have roughly another week of the store being on spring, summer restocking hiatus. I believe the store will be back open for business on Sunday, April the 4th. Um, and the reason, you know, we have these store hiatuses typically at the beginning of a fashion season, in this case, summer, spring, some exciting new designs. My wife's come working on some real, you know, nice designs for the spring and summer. I think everybody is a little bit probably overexcited to get out. Everybody's got cabin fever. Certainly Atlanta is, I mean, we're, we're wide open. I think the South, <laughs> because the warm weather obviously came here first is like just wide open. Um, we see that in Atlanta. Um, we certainly saw that in Miami, um, you know, my hope is just that as we all venture out, all, no matter what age group or demographic you're in, we all party responsibly. We all have fun responsibly. Unfortunately, I think we saw some things in Miami go a little bit to the left. So, you know, you know, I come from the generation of Freaknik and uh, Beach Week. Um, so I get it. You know what I mean? I get the whole spring break you know, being a little wild vibe, but you know, there's gotta be some controls and I also want everybody to be safe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you ready to kind of bust out? Are you comfortable with that? Are you planning events, parties, vacations, get togethers, you know, what is your perspective? I think everybody's handling, handling it a little bit differently, but no matter what your plans are, check out the Unfrumpy Mommy store because there is a t-shirt design or hoodie design that will fit whatever event you're trying to go to. Speaking of fitting whatever event you're trying to go to, Erica C must have a lot of exciting stuff going on because Erica ordered this huge box. So this is another box order. You know, we ever have a, whenever we have a box, it's a big order and the pink packages are inside the box. So Erica, you are getting your pink packages. Erica C must have a lot going on and must be having a great time. This is her first order. So for her to order all of this stuff, all of these items in her first order. Thank you so much, Erica, for your first order out of Harbor City. California Afro Love t-shirt one of the uh, I call them like the Odies but goodies one of the original shirts that you know when we launched the store when my wife launched the store came out two black marriages matter hoodies two black marriages matter hoodies it's ironic again you know a lot of the, the pink package shout outs in this video I've been talking about the whole Derek Jackson state of marriage kind of thing we've been talking about that a lot lately we've been, we've been talking about love and marriage Huntsville so Thank you, all of you. And, you know, hopefully, I think there are a lot of you, despite what the statistics say, despite what we might see, there are a lot of strong relationships out there. There are, are a lot of strong marriages of all demographics. There are a lot of strong, you know, black marriages. So I do think once you get past, you know, all of the negativity, there are a lot of strong, you know, marriages. And a lot of you have emailed us and talked to us and sent us, you know, great messages on Instagram. Hey, I, I bought the Black Marriages Matter hoodie or the my wife is dope, my husband is dope, my king, her, his his queen, her king t-shirt because I'm in a great relationship. So thank you all of you for that. Erica is no exception with her two Black Marriages Matter hoodies. She also has a My Roots and a God Says. So thank you so much, Erica C., for your first order out of Harbor City, California. Wear those in good health, and I will see you guys on the next 
Payback and shout out.